Coopity smoopity. Okay, I do believe you are live. Are we live? Yeah, I'm waiting for it to come up on Instagram. I don't know if I'm alive. There are you. Uh, I see. Alive. Okay. Captions are auto generated. We will misspell everything, but. <laughs> <laughs> I have to watch Instagram on my phone because it's being weird. Okay. I can go over to Instagram if you want. That's fine. Okay. You know more important things to do. Boop, 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 boop. It's just you and me, me and you. Just the two of us, see. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. <laughs> now I look like I have fleas. Wait, that's not showing up as being live. Is it live yet? Oh, now it's live. Now it's very live. But it's hearing you. Well, there's supposedly four people, but they have not come. Gustavo. Gustavo. <clears throat> We've got a bunch of people popping in and out on Instagram. -y. Hola. Hola. So it's just you, me, and Gustavo. Well, there you go. Even though there's nine people. Well, Bertman has joined us on Instagram. Sam Green. So there's one, two, three. You and I made four or five. Yet there's oh, yeah. six on Instagram. <laughs> uh, we just five. dropped down to seven. Somebody dumped us. Hi, that. Sarah. Hi, Sam. Jim Hackett is on with us. Sarah, I forgot to send out your prints this week, but I will get them out next week. And Sarah. Sarah, need, Sarah missed out on a couple of um, the Voodoo doll prints that were not in the Voodoo pack. Ah. That she's like, I need these. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'll take care. Yeah, next week's a big shipping. Monday is going to be a big shipping day. Mm. There's just been too much rain that I did not want to send out a lot of stuff this week. We don't see Tommy yet, guys. I'm sorry, Sam. Was there something that Tommy got that you wanted? Because we'll pull it for you that if, if you want something. <laughs> Happy Towers is on with us. Hey, Happy Towers. So we're just loading up, guys. We'll wait a couple more minutes and then... We'll start moving, and then people jump on as we start moving. You <laughs> got it, Sarah. With the herpes. The herpes and the budgies. Uh, Gustavo, I haven't shipped to anybody, so <laughs> I have not done any shipping. Something went out. There was one thing that went out of here. That was it. Happy Towers says, hola, happy Friday. Right. Monday is shipping. What I'm trying to do is slow down the shipping a little bit so that you guys don't have to keep paying for shipping, shipping mm -hmm. because since we do two shows a week and some of you buy both nights, I'm trying to make like Mondays now shipping days out of here um, because we're now billing on Saturdays. So I'm hoping that that'll kind of help out that we can slow down some of the $20 fees that go out on the shipping. There's a great Instagram name came up. The car is on fire. There is no driver. <laughs> I need that person to buy something. Yeah, and Stephen Michael Tolb is back watching us. Hello, Stephen. <laughs> I think the last time I saw Stephen was when we were in Baltimore. So. Actually, Sarah, we should discuss whether you want the harpies, like, recreation cover size or if you want it on the sketch cover you guys are crazy 
I know, but it's so much fun, though, being crazy. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to wait two more minutes. We'll wait till 7.43, and then we'll start the show for tonight. We have some new art coming in tonight. Um, I don't know if I have new. I may have one or two new prints we're showing tonight. See, Sarah agrees with me. It's a blast being crazy. I see. So we'll see what happens. I think I'm stuck. Are you stuck? I'm not moving. Uh oh. <laughs> well, Sarah, so luckily enough, I have discovered I can draw small enough to do multiple characters on the sketch cover. So there we are. Now we're moving. We'll be okay on the sketch cover. My It'll phone, be cool. My phone got stuck. Oh no! But it's okay now. We be good. So I hope everybody's been safe and in the better weather spots versus there's been a lot of not great weather spots mm. on the news. So I'm hoping everybody's okay up there in Weatherland. Where is Senior Pedro? Senior Pedro is at home. So. But I have been told that I have to bring Pedro back. <laughs> well, they do like when Pedro visits. So maybe Pedro will make a visit next week for us. So, Because you're the second person who's like, where's Pedro? We stuck him in a closet, and we haven't let him out yet. Yeah, the girls have kind of taken over continuity. Yes. So it's quite nice this way, actually. Scorching hot in Mexico. It's supposed to be Heck. scorching hot in Mexico. All right, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start. So we'll start actually with the gallery books, which we made our big announcement and is out there in the world. I'll just pull these out here. Hello, Greg can, Harper. We can start by talking about the gallery books because there seems to be a bit of confusion. So I'm going to clarify some of the confusion for people. So basically, oh, I have to go to my notes. Here, hold on a second. My notes. I got notes. Well, I focus. Okay. Okay. So basically, these are, this is the Neil Adams artist edition that everybody has begged for for many years to have done by DC and IDW. So basically, we said, fine, we're going to finally do it. Zia brought in her story of her as a little baby. The baby that walked through walls. I brought in my story, which is the nightmare story. And then I believe there are two other full stories that Scott has been able to pull together. So I believe there are four full stories in, in no matter what book you buy. Yeah, the both interiors, books the same. Right. The interiors are the same. Whether you buy my editions, which are 100 run editions, mm -hmm. or you buy Scott's editions, or I should say IDW's editions, which has the Ra's al Ghul cover on it, and the other one has the Green Lantern, Green Arrow um, 76 cover on it. So no matter which one you buy, the interiors are the same. The difference is really what cover do you like? And with mine, the difference is there's only 100 that are going to have the 251 cover and 100 that will have Superman. Right. The runs on the Ra's al Ghul cover and the Green Lantern Green Arrow cover are going to be much bigger. So these are going to be harder to find. Yep. And I'm the only person selling them. Or the Neil Adams store.com is the only place selling them. These two. Now, the Ra's al Ghul covered one and the um, Green Lantern, Green Arrow one will be sold through probably Amazon, your comic stores, um, you know, anywhere that you normally get your gallery books. And speaking of the devil, there is Scott on Instagram. Hey, Scott. So the page. Uh, and he said 5,000 each approximately. Okay, there you go. So 5,000 of his Ra's al Ghul cover, 5,000 of the Green Lantern, Green Arrow cover. 100 of, of 251 and 100 that has the Superman Nevermore. But again, the interiors are all the same. 
So the interior page count is 248 pages. Like I said, he's been able to pull together some stories. He has a lot of loose pages to stuff. He probably has a lot of covers in there. I know he's got these great fold-out pages that are in there, um, which I believe there are five fold-outs. I believe is what, yes, five fold-outs um, is inside. So these are fantastic books. They're huge. They're like, 1117 they have to be big, bigger slightly bigger than 1117 uh, scott says yep seven stories seven stories okay no no he said five <laughs> yeah I was which like, is I don't think seven or five i think it's five stories, <laughs> five stories. or there's five fold outs or five stories see scott doesn't even know what's in these books <laughs> he's as confused, he's so confused. as i am Exactly. It says the size is 12 by 17. 12 by 17. And hi, Victor. So that is a story of these. You can find them at thenealamstore.com. You can pre-order if you're interested in the ones that we're selling. Oh, he said seven stories. Seven stories. Wow. He found more stuff. Um, so, like I said, there's... Mine that only have a hundred copy runs. That's what makes mine different besides the two different covers. But there was confusion as if like I had the Batman story, one, right? But Batman this is like a facsimile yeah. edition. Of Interiors it. are the right. same no matter which book you buy. Right. It's just the covers are different. Right. So I wanted to clarify that because I could already see. No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't want you to think that. Okay. So they're up. People are talking about them. We're pre-ordering. We're taking pre-orders. It comes out in October, so this is kind of advanced. Uh, but if you want to hold your spot on one of these, I would go to the neiladamsstore.com. Even I'm not really going to be taking orders during the show. I'll do it kind of, sort of, but really going through the neiladamsstore.com is a better way to go. So <clears throat> if it has more than six stories, you need a water tower. <laughs> I don't even understand that, Sam. I mean, no sense. Okay, so that takes care of that news. All right, so I'm going to start the show. Unless anybody's got questions on the gallery books, then we can answer them right now since we're talking gallery books. Oh, Gustavo. I'm not going to say hi to you every time you decide to switch Facebook, Instagram, <laughs> and YouTube. Okay, so since we're still a little bit loading up, I'm just going to go over these because um, we're. this is going to probably be the last time that I offer these. Um, we still have the nice facsimile edition of the Treasury of Ra's al Ghul. Treasury size. Now, this is the regular edition, which really means... It doesn't have foil on it. And the price on this is $25. $25. And then on the foil edition, can you see the foil? Yeah. Okay. On the foil edition, it is $30. And we have a couple of these left. So like I said, tonight will probably be the last night that I offer. The Razzle Treasuries. Maybe I'll squeak out one or two more, but that's going to be it. So if anyone is interested in these, what you would do is write in the comment bar the same way you say hello to us, claiming Raz al Ghul foil for $30. We will then acknowledge that you're doing that, and then we will ask, <laughs> excuse me, ask you to direct message us. Um, your name, your address where we're shipping, and an email so that we can then send you an invoice for payment on whatever you buy tonight. Scott Dunbar is uh, unloading a little information here on Instagram. Okay. In the uh, artist edition. Yes. The stories are there's a Batman, a Dead Man, a Green Lantern, two Mystery, El Diablo, and Private Life of Clark Kent. Yeah. So I'm go. interested in the El Diablo. <laughs> <clears throat> so, Dad draws good horses, so El Diablo should be 
fun to look at. Okay. The phone is stuck again. So that is the news from Scott Doomberg himself. So he says, Inked by Bernie. I guess ah, the old yeah, That was Inked by Bernie. That's cool. Very cool. Some insider information from Mr. Dunbar himself. <laughs> okay, so once again, I'm offering the Ra's al Ghul Treasury Edition. We have the foil left, and we have the regular edition for anyone who's interested. Now would be the time to say something. Uh, thank you for sharing us. I, we definitely appreciate when people share us. Thank you for stopping in, Scott. We'll see you later. Yep, thank you, Scott. And um, I know Neil used to love going to Royal Collectibles. We did Royal Collectibles a couple of times. Even Z has been to Royal Collectibles. I know. <laughs> my, my first real uh, comic book signing on my first ever uh, variant cover. Yep. So... I need to do more covers. Yeah. I like that. That was fun. Okay. Well, we'll work on that. See. Okay. okay so I'm going to put these foil and the treasuries to the side. And I guess we can start. Okie doker. So I um, just want to make sure everything is running because my phone keeps getting stuck. Did you miss an announcement? Um, basically, Chris was explaining about the... Um, Artist Edition, the two books that we talked about on Wednesday. And Mr. Scott Dunbar, who had come in on Instagram, told us what stories were, were going to be in it, which there are seven stories. There's a Batman, a Dead Man, a Green Lantern, two Mystery, El Diablo, and Private Life of Clark Kent. And all of the books have the same interior. So it's, whichever cover you choose is going to have the same inside as the other books. Okay, so I am going to start. Thank you, Anthony. I'm glad you <laughs> love what we do because sometimes it's a rough crowd. Sometimes. <laughs> All right, so since we've been doing a lot of prints, I decided I'm going to start the show with artwork today and probably then move some prints in and probably go back to artwork. Mm -hmm. That's a technical term. It is Chris's technical term. Giving me a hard time to dancing. <laughs> oh, you know I love you. So do we have this as a piano scan? We do. I thought we did. And there it is. So there, the, 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 what are we looking at? We are looking at an <laughs> 11 by 17. This is a fantastic four piece that Neil did um, with the coronavirus where the Fantastic Four is trying to kill off the coronavirus. Um, obviously, he did this a while ago. This is pen and ink meal with Tim Shin coloring. <laughs> I just realized why I forgot all my bottles. Now I have my bottles. Oh, I got my bottles. Oh, are very important. Are most important. So this is priced at it's five actually thousand. four thousand. It's four thousand. Oh. Yeah, we had brought it down. Oh. So Excuse it is me. priced at four thousand. Now this the reason why I'm starting notes. this is no Gustavo. They're not triples. They're coronavirus. Coronavirus. <laughs> So um, the reason why I'm starting with this is because it is original art by Neil. We have a payment plan for original art where we're now asking for a third down um, as a down payment. And then the rest can be paid off over time. Um, and as long as you make like little monthly payments towards it, we're happy. Um, <clears throat> and we're starting to... Um, push that we get something every month so that we have long periods of time where people kind of disappear and then I don't even know where anybody is anymore. So we're, I'm going to try to start working that we 
get payments in kind of monthly, even if they're not, you know, a huge amount of money. But usually by the time people start getting towards like, oh, I'm getting really close to paying off a piece, then everything picks up its pace, I've noticed. Um, so we're looking to, like I said, a third down and then also have payments that come in monthly. Um, there, we understand if you miss a month, that's fine. Um, but I don't want to have to start, you know, finding people and being detective press. So we're going to change that up a little bit because it's become a little lax. So I just want everyone to know that it's not just ink at you. If you get a, a note from Chris, everybody's kind of getting a note from Chris. Right. So, um, well, we're also uh, mailing them in the order that they were bought, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going to make sure that people pay in in the order in which you buy things as well, because it gets a little crazy in the trying to keep track of all the payment plans on stuff. So in any case, this would be a $4,000 piece that you would put down a third of to hold it as your down payment. We're asking for payments monthly if possible. We understand if you have to skip a month or two, stuff happens, cavities happen, all kinds of nasty things happen that spend your money. And we understand that at continuity. Um, and then once it's all paid off, we then ship it out to you. There is no interest on this at all. So it's it's a generous payment plan. Right. So. And hello, Robert from Texas. And Gustavo, actually, um, there's some stuff that DC was printing that I don't even know if we knew that they were printing. Do you know if DC is printing more foil facsimile editions? Um, I do not know. I do know there, which I'm probably not going to get copies of because it's Marvel, um, is they're doing the, um, the X-Men cover where Havoc comes forward, the Havoc head. Mm -hmm. They're doing that with Disney characters because mm. <laughs> it's the one cover. It's like, oh, I want one of those and I'm probably not going to get one of those. We'll so. Find you one. <laughs> so there is that coming out, and I believe that comes out next week, or it may have come out this week. It's either this week or next week. Um, but in regards to DC and foils, I usually find out when it's on the comic stands, right. and I've not heard of any more foils. They don't notify me ahead and say, hey, Chris, we're doing this. Yeah. Um, so, and Robert Martinez says, met Neil at the Houston Comic Con. Met Neil in the early 80s. It's very nice. Very nice. Okay, I'm going to move on. Okay, this is, I'm going to go to, oh, where's my other half? Oh, no, this isn't the one with the other half. I'm going to do the Batman Forever, Batman Robin Roof. Oops. <clears throat> Aaron's on with us. Aaron? Yeah. Hi, Aaron. Okay, so this is a large piece. This is like 11 by 14 of Batman and Robin. This is based on the um, style guide for the Batman Forever movie. This is designy uh, because Neil decided he would really like to work with Joe Orlando, make a very designy licensing style guide book for licensed, you know, people who are buying sheets and curtains and stuff like that. Neil was looking to make it more designed into a more kind of adult um, buyer. So this is one of the pieces that was published in the licensing book for Batman Forever. This is 2200 to buy. And is it a signed piece or not signed piece? This one is not signed. Not signed. So this we get a certificate of authenticity that would go along with it. So, yeah, Aaron has been in a really nice place for the last couple of days. <laughs> so I have been jealous. He has been in swimming pools. <laughs> yeah. And in the sun. So, so this is 2200 for Batman and Robin. 
you ever go to the Maldives, you have to bring me and Chris. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, bring typhoid Z with you. No, I just got a pin in my throat. <laughs> yeah. All those voodoo dolls, I had a pin in my throat. It's called Today's Lovely Weather. Mm. Of rain, sun, rain, sun. Yeah, it was, it was like sunny and then dark and then light and then dark and then light and then dark. I'm like, oh my God. The, the sky is like manic depressive. Mm. Okay. Next piece of art up is this nice 11 by 14 on Hanson paper drawing that Neil did. And what he's doing here is he is actually using his pencil to um, texture Batman as well as using ink and then obviously white paint. Somehow I have a really nasty light going on. That's okay. I got, I'm pulling up the scan of him on it. All right, Z is going to do a scan and pan while I try and get it to not reflect the ceiling so badly. There we go. Hey, Richie. Hey. <laughs> How you doing? You're doing good. Good. What is the art to the left of your table? Are you talking about the stuff behind Chris? This? Well, we'll have to see. That's the pile that I'm putting up. So all this will be going up. <clears throat> so this is a nice sign piece, 11 by 14. The price on this is 5,000. Very large, nicely done Batman on a Canson acid-free paper. Again, this can go on the payment plan. And like I said, the gray part, you can actually see the texture of the paper with Neil's pencil. Um, so he's kind of coloring Batman with pencil, his gray pencil. Nice piece of art for sure. Okay. I'm going to do Batman Pencil and Batarang. I'm going to jump around on prices here a little bit so that it's not all just heavy hitters. This is a 8.5 by 11 piece. It's a prelim to actually one of the pieces that Neil sold on our show. So this is his pencil for it said he would take this onto either a Canson paper, like what I just showed that Batman, or possibly white paper, we colored it up. Um, but it is Batman with a Batarang. I have to find it now because that one's not on my list. No, oh, I'm sorry. Spark Chili Chilinho? Spark Chilinho says, really shows a nice touch with the pencil. This is a hallmark of Neil's work. I think that was a previous piece that probably came along. Mm. And my honey pie six six one one is asking, is that sign? Um it uh the Canson paper one, the dark one with the pencil uh, shading, and the ink is signed. The piece that we have on screen right now is not signed, but it would come with a uh, certificate of authenticity. And what was the price on this one, Chris? I don't know. Okay. All right. All right. I have it for... 900 on my list. Ah, so this is where this came from. Because <laughs> there was a piece of work here that had two tickets on it. Because then I still had my list on me then. There you go. 900. <clears throat> I tried to be <clears throat> So this, like I said, this is what Neil's pencils look like when he does 
piece is kind of like the Batman on Canson. Um, this is one of the pieces that we've sold where Batman has a nice moon behind him. He's got batarangs in his hands. And it's a nice pencil of Batman. So the price on this is 900 And again, this is where you can put a third as down as your payment and pay it off over time. But that's like a great Batman cowl there. Good face and cowl. Batman gives good face. And this one he does. So 900 for that. Okay. Um, red balloon? Yeah, I gotta do red balloon because people tend to like this. Okay, so red balloon is Joker, obviously, eight and a half by 11. Uh, this is based on Bruce Timm's. Very good. Yeah, I know I had to slow myself down for that. <laughs> so I didn't say too much. Bruce Timm's style from the animation of Batman. This is 1200 to buy. This is pencil and ink meal. Color on this is Zia and Rich and Jason. Yeah. A trifecta of colors. Jason did all the red balloons for Neil because they're airbrush. And then basically, and there's probably five to seven different jokers that Neil did with the red balloon. Um, and this one, like I said, is Bruce Tim style joker. He did actors as joker. He did joker, many different jokers from many different styles of joker from the comics. And then he did this one representing the animation. So sweet piece if you're into the animated Batman. It is also a signed piece by Neil for 900. I mean for 1200, I'm sorry. 900 was stuck in my head from the last piece of art. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to go with Dark Phoenix. Okay, this is the scan pan on Dark Phoenix. Right. So Dark Phoenix is done on a kind of gray, plummy Canson paper. This is pencil and ink meal. Color on this is Jason with white highlighting by Zia. So this is 1900 to buy. Second time for everybody. So nice dark phoenix by Neil. It is a sign piece by Neil. The signature is above her head. Yeah, no, the Instagram is just lots of freaking money. Yeah. Okay. What is it? There you go. Nothing I can't handle. <laughs> Nothing I can't handle. Happy Tower says, love that itch lady.
Okay, and move on. Okay. Rolling right along. I'm rolling right along. See. I'm gonna go this way for a minute. Ugh. I'm gonna pull dead man out. New dead man. Okay. So we have an eight and a half by eleven dead man. This is pencil and ink. Color on this, the head of Dead Man was colored actually by Neil. Yep. And the remaining part of this was colored by Zia. It is a sign piece by Neil. It is 100. And BS Mac is Instagram is saying, I wish I could collect more art. Um, I don't know whether you're new to us, BS Mac, but we do have a payment plan where you put one third of the total cost down and then you pay the rest over time. Um, we do request that people make monthly payments of however much you choose to pay each month, mm -hmm. but just to keep it current in your mind and current with our records that you know, we don't lose you. Um, and, uh, and we also request that people uh, buy their stuff in the order in which they pay pay in the order in which they so 2300 for a dead man. Nice screaming dead man. What else does dead man do? Andrea just said awesome dead man. <laughs> he's, he's, he's nice pretty red. Nice red jewel tones. I just like how dead does like that blue, gray, pink thing on mm. dead man's skin. Twenty three hundred, <laughs> eight and a half by eleven. Yeah, that's good. Nice thing. Mm. Cool. Yeah, he did kind of like uh, put up it kind of did like radiating eyes that are kind of mm. cool. So that is me. Who colored the body is Zia. Okay. Happy hours. How did you not know? Who else colored? Who is the rubiest red of all? That's right. Yeah. We think we do Batman Forever, Batman and Robin Freeland. The thin uh, the finished piece behind it. Okay. Got it. Got it. Jewel tone. Damn it. So this is the preliminary to a piece. So this is almost like Neil's pencil for a finished piece. Um, this is what we handed in probably to Joe Orlando, who was the editor of the style guide at the time. And uh, and then he would approve it. And then once approved, Neil would then go ahead and do the finish that he could re pencil it and ink it tight, make it beautiful, um, and then we would hand that as our finish. So this is the you know, like layout pencil in a way, even though he did in ink. It's usually when Neil does something this inky, I would say he knows what he's working to, what he wants it before the pencil even hit the paper here. This is 2800 Patrick Instagram is asking, hey, what did Neil Adams think of Tim Burton's Batman films? I mean, Neil appreciated every film that came out that was a comic book film. Um, he was very <laughs> generous, I would say, probably more generous than a lot of people that worked at continuity. <laughs> um, because I think Neil was just always very happy to see a film that was out there pushing a superhero character. So 
I've never really had anything bad to ever say about it. I think from Neil's point of view, I think it was probably still a little too uh, campy, like the TV show. Um, but like I said, he enjoyed it. He enjoyed all of them. You know, we, we would always go to every single one of them. Mm -hmm. um, you know, whether we would go to, I mean, most of the time we didn't go to the pretty nice, that, you know, he would go on the weekend because we would have clients up here during the week, so we couldn't go to the preview nights. And, uh, but he always enjoyed himself. <laughs> and like I said, he was probably nicer about it. Than so. I think he mostly had problems with the Batman costume that the yeah. actor can't move mm -hmm. in it and, or it's we squishing see, his face or... We would see one of the movies and Daddy come home and draw. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so what we're looking at right now is the finished piece of the piece I just showed that was like the prelim to this where Robin was flying forward, Batman was behind in the back. So what's cool about this is you can buy the prelim as well as buying the finished have both of them next to each other or not. So again, this comes from the movie Silent Movie. And it's fun to see the difference in the Robin comes to the country roads. Exactly. So this is 5,000 Thai. Um, if there's no signatures on the art, we do include a certificate of authenticity stating that Neil drew it, um, which is honored just about everybody out there. Um, so. Which is also you can only get from the family. Yeah. So they know you bought it from us. Right. Okay. okay, this is the giant Superman head. It's 1117 because this head was used. Neil did a triptych three part body of Superman, three paintings that were each three foot by three foot. So you had a nine foot Superman flying. Um, this is the head that he transferred down onto his. Sold by price on this is about five. And it is a signed piece by Neil. An interesting story about the button movie. Is, Burton movie. No, Burton movie. It was button. <laughs> it's a yeah, button. Took the saga of Raza the Treasury Edition in order to show the director what he thought Batman should look like in the film. Well, did not know that. So, I guess Bob Keane, that's a good drawing Batman. Okay, so we have Superman for 7,000. I'm gonna go to one more piece of art and then I'm gonna jump over to some prints and then we'll come back to art. So this is eight and a half by 11. This is Batman, pen and ink Neil, signed by Neil for 2,500. You now a piece like this, normally we will color um, if you're interested in having it would have an additional detail. Just have a bunch of noggins to color for. I should do it. A lot of noggins. So eight and a half by eleven. 2500 Batman. Really nice, solid 
drawn Batman. This is the eye Batman? Yeah. I call this the eye Batman because he's kind of profile, but that eye is looking right at you. Giving you the side eye. Giving you the side eye. <laughs> and that's why I like this piece, because I like the side eye. <laughs> Nice line work on this by Neil. Look at that squishy, squishy, squishy face. Everybody crosses just like the old man. Mm. Okay, so you got this over here. Whoa, this is falling apart. Don't fall. Okay, I'm gonna do some prints and then we'll come back to our it. Okay. Okay, so we found some interesting prints we also have printed some prints so um all right i'm going to start with poison ivy so this is whoa this, <laughs> this is a print so i just want to put that there not an original at this point we're going to print so this is poison ivy she is 13 by 19 and we sell our prints at 100 dollars but we have i think i have two prints that are 200 but the rest of our prints are 100 dollars yeah so this is a nice poison ivy this poison ivy obviously was drawn by me and colored by mom right mm -hmm. corey corey adams colored this neil adams drew it 13 by 19, $100 print. First print of the night. Since the uh, All right. I'm going to do it. Oh, God. Just give me a holla. Okay. Uh, we offered on Wednesday night for the first time the Harley Quinn. Uh, cover. This is the pencil that Neil did, um, which was inked by Sook. This is one of the 27 covers that Neil did. This is 100 to buy. Somehow I think. Well, usually I don't have any much trouble. <laughs> I think I'm sitting in a different spot. Well, I think you're a little bit more towards me than usually. Yeah. Usually, it's like back. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. So, this is Neil's pencil. I also just want to point out that all of these jokers down at the bottom are different real jokers from different comic eras, different comic artists that Neil like had a tall reference for him for different jokers through time. This is a really fun piece to look at. It is 100 to buy. Heather says, I just received mine on Saturday, and this is so cool. Yeah, the jokers are very cool. Um, again, all you would do is write in the comment bar, claiming with the jokers. We will acknowledge you and ask you to message us your personal information. Now, since we're also doing prints, these are not on a payment plan. Prints really have to leave here because they're big. They get in the boxes that they go out in are very big cardboard envelope boxes that all the prints go into. And Tommy, yes, I think you did yeah. have a poison ivy already. Yeah, he has poison ivy, he has Harley. <laughs> okay, here is the piece as color. So I just showed you the pencil. This is the finished cover, which again, it's Neil's pencil, obviously, with um, Sook's inking. So it came out as a very cool cover.
This is 100 to buy. In this case, I would agree with you, Happy Towers. It's nice to see what Neil penciled. Sook was actually one of Neil's favorite inkers in this trying out different inkers things that we did. So you do get to see what Sook did. And that's like your early Sook. Okay. Yes, Max, so far all the prints that we've shown already are $100. Okay, next one is Thor. And Thor is signed by Neil. It's just really hard to see. Yeah. It's down the bottom there on his red tape. And Neil used a silver marker. Camouflage. 13 by 19 Thor. So such definitely did a good inking. Yeah. Okay, BS Mac is claiming both Harley Quinns. Thank you, BS Mac. So BS Mac, please make sure to direct message us your personal information, which would be your name, uh, what you went under in Instagram as well, and also where I'm shipping to and an email address. I have your Instagram name, your real name, address, and email. So this is yes, Mark. Nineteen seventy-six. Happy Paris and Return of the Mac. <laughs> Elby Buddha, hi, how are you? I haven't seen you since God, New York Comic Con the previous year. LB Buddha, he's the one that went to the Maldives and sent me pictures. I'm like, oh. <laughs> got your BS, the pencil one, and the colored one. Yep. <laughs> Um, this doesn't either like have a hair trigger or <laughs> there you go, at a girl. <laughs> okay, so we made our first message. Next up, I have to support my Bucky O'Hare. It's Sunday. It's coming back as an enemy thing. And more toys. Because Chris needs her pit stop pee. So this is 13 by 19. This is Bucky O'Hare. This is actually a Bucky O'Hare that's done by Neil. Um, Neil Adams. It is signed by Neil at the bottom. And uh, Bucky O'Hare was done out of constant Major license to Hasbro as a toy line. Had an animated TV show. BS Mac is asking if he can get CFAs with the prints. Um, we charge um, we charge about thirty dollars each for the CFAs. Tommy Braden is claiming a Bucky O'Hare. Okay. I think that's one already. I don't think I so. That's a safe claim. Gotcha, Tommy. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> yeah. Yes, Mac, uh, let us know. Please confirm that you want COAs. They are $30 each. Hmm. 
We'll double check for you, Tommy. We'll make sure that you don't double up on anything. I tried to check it the first week. Yeah. But if we end up doubling up, Tommy, we'll just add it. We'll just subtract it from other stuff. So if you find that I doubled on something, I'm trying not to. I have checked the list, but things get away from me sometimes. Um, I think he's the only one that he did. I mean, Neil did a lot of the license for for Bucky. Um, but I think in regards to prints, I think that's the only print we did. Um, that is Neil. But I actually want to go make some more different prints of Bucky. Oh, BS Mac, did you want a Bucky O'Hare too? Confusion and outer space. Well, Wolsey is working on that. I will talk about Megalith. So this is a pencil um, for Megalith with a hybrid down there. Um, this is one hundred dollars to buy. It is thirteen by nineteen. The reason why Neil penciled this the way he penciled it, which is very tight, is because he was hiring a painter to do this as a painting. Uh, but this is Neil's pencil for a cover that we never produced because we could stop printing. Uh, this was for probably Rise of Magic. It is a sun print by Neil. It is one So this is another really nice piece of Neil Adams art. Like it's very tight because someone else was taking this to finish. So nice mega piece, 100. Hey, Rich. Hello, Rich. Here is a middle act. One of Neil's favorite characters to draw is actually Megala. <clears throat> well, he gets to have all that anatomy drawn. Right. I do have. Oh, I don't have. <laughs> I do oh. have. Derp. It has Neil and coffee stand in the back of it. Well. That is actually the true certificate of authenticity. Okay, um, I'm going to do Dog Man. I have 13 by 19. Now, this is a print that if you watched our show from the very beginning when Neil was still with us, Neil was starting to talk a lot about Bigfoot and Dog Man and cryptids and stuff like that because he was studying them with giants and um, and Neil over the weekend he made with this piece, uh, which this is pencil ink and color uh, by Neil. So this is his dog man. So he's saying that these creatures at these sizes um, live amongst us. So that is a dog man, and those are people, and he's showing the size of it. And how horrifying, if you ran into a dog man, how horrifying it would be. So $100 for a dog man. And Neil's signature is in silver at the bottom. Really nice, tight piece here. <clears throat> you have to be into big flicks and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Okay, I'm going to change over to $200 pieces. Okay. Okay, so these are your clays. Yes. 
So this is a 13 by 19 Jacle, which means this is on a really nice like water stock paper, watercolor stock paper. This is a painting that Neil um, painted in the studio. Um, it used to actually, if you watched our early shows, it sat at the end of our conference room table for a long time. This is a display from your Kakan that we made of that painting. So it is not signed by Neil because Neil had already passed at this point in time. Uh, this is $200 by, it does come with a holographic signature uh, sticker that we put to the back of it. That's very nice that it, it, it says approved. Um, only we have them, so once again, they know out in the outer world that, oh, that's Neil's holographic signature. That's what we put on the back of the case. So this is $200 by, and I also want to say I am down to my last two. These have very short, short runs. We did not make many of these. I have two of these left. That's it on this. And I will say anyone who's bought this will tell you that the color on this is fantastic. Um, that the, the color sits on the paper really well. It's very vibrant, and it's a gorgeous piece of art, or not art, a gorgeous print or jacle uh, when you get it. Now, this is $200 to buy. The size of this is 13 by 19. So that, of course, is green paper. Next one up is going to be uh, this one. So this one we sell now at 400. This is my last one. Ooh. Do you remember what the size of this was? Be? This is 20 by 20, like the other square one. Okay. 20 by 20 is the size. This is my last one that's on the watercolor paper. We do sell this as a canvas. This one is 400 to buy. So he's going to have to change that up. Oh, sorry. Again, my last one of this one. Now, these are all paintings that Neil did. The original size of this painting was uh, four, four foot by four foot. Four foot yeah. Four feet by four feet. This painting was purchased. And again, this is a fancy chiclet print where Neil approved that the color was correct to him. Extremely original. Yeah, because Neil wouldn't have it any other way. So this one is 400 to buy. Again, my last one, Green Lantern, Green Arrow, lighting. Love this piece. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, VS Mac. Since there was a little like back and forth between like you and then Tommy came in and it got a little confused. So just when you send us your direct message, just write what your prints are and if you want to see the way with my prints. If you would be so kind, please. Okay. This is a large one. This goes back to two hundred. See. Um, this is another print from New York Comic Con based on a painting that Neil did. Obviously, it's another story of the Ra's al Ghul sword fight with Batman, Talia in the background with Ubu, even the camel, and the guy, excuse me, guy on the camel is still in the background, like just on the cover of Ra's al Ghul. So it has all the elements of the famous Ra's al Ghul where Ra's al Ghul has Batman's costume hanging over his sword. I guess this is pre that. So this is $200 to buy. <clears throat> Again, it is a fancy jacle on that great watercolor stock paper that we do a continuity that everybody loves. Mm 
beautiful sunset. All of these that I've just shown right now are all painted. Her, 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 happy hours. Only <laughs> dad jokes there. Okay, and then my last big print of the night. <clears throat> this one's a little messed up too. This is my show one. Yeah. Okay, sleepies. This is Ginger. Ginger is two hundred dollars to buy. Uh, Ginger comes from Ben Casey. That was originally drawn by Neil. If you look at the first panel of the syndicated strip of Ben Casey, you will see the same woman here, and you see up there. So this this print of the strip will come. With this to play, the to play is 20 by 20. 20 by 20. This is painted by Zia, based on Yolanda's drawing. Okay, BS Mac is taking a Ross Gould. Thank you, BS Mac. Was two hundred. Right, was two. Tommy Brayden, yes, the Batman Razogul was a Jacle, yep. so the Jacle is two hundred. Correct. And he wants that one with the COA. The um, BS Mac wants his Razogul with the COA. So. Okay. Thank you, love. Hours. Okay, so back to what we're looking at. We call this woman Ginger. She's got red hair. So this is a painting that Zia did because Neil was doing all these paintings in kind of a pop art feel. Um, Zia did three different women. This is one of them. This is Ginger. And this is 200 to buy. So again, you're looking at a painting by it is based off of the drawing that Yolanda's did. So she put Neil's name there in the style in which Neil was signing his name while drawing by Casey, which was before he designed the way he owns everything. And see it is right underneath that. So $200 for Ginger. That, and Dad left blank canvases laying around. So <laughs> I was like, hey, I haven't worked that big before. Well, you would have loved that. I, I think, think you would have been really happy with these. So, again, you get the strip and you get the jacle with these. All right. That good. Yes, Mac wants to know any other Bucky O'Hare stuff. Um, again, that's, that is the only Bucky O'Hare, but I am thinking about pulling some other. And doing some more print. So, okay. oh, let me down. I have one that hangs because I love Bucky O'Hare. So, I have Bucky O'Hare prints that I've made for myself that I have hanging. So, I may do one of the prints that I use that I like. Okay, do we have a second round of gold to play that Tommy uh, can play? Yes. Okay, we got you, Tommy. Okay, so I'm back to the smaller print size. So this is one. Yeah, this is 100, yes. So this is 1117. This is based on Neil's 911 piece that he did for, I think this went in Marvel's book. Is um, that tough on DC? It's super nice. Um, Burr! God, I just went out. Sir! <laughs> Chris had a brain hiccup. 
<laughs> this is $100 to buy. I will say this piece, um, it has, a, if you work in the fire department or the ambulance department or even the police department, or you were part of 911 in some way or live in New York, this piece is um, a really heartfelt piece. I mean, I don't know anyone who didn't work in either the fire department or the ambulance department that did not buy this. Um, this is also signed by Neil. These are the older prints that we have left that are signed by Neil. I think I have two of these. Um, and we're selling this for $100. It is a gorgeous piece. This is all Neil pencil ink in color. And this was actually Neil's first design, except that actually when he originally drew this, he did have Wolverine and Superman um, both on the same piece because he thought that they would do a joint thing and then they could do a joint thing. So then Neil did the other piece and it just became, but his first out the door piece was Uncle Sam Superman and Wolverine. Um, was on this. Wolverine was on the other side of the way. Uncle Sam is on one side. Right. So this is $100 to buy. Gorgeous piece. I can snatch one. Mm. Okay, I have 11.17. Okay, um, Tommy Braden is claiming a, a Superman Red Cross. 9-11? Yep. Okay. Catch, Tommy. Beautiful finished pencil render print of Daryl Nixon from Walking Dead. Yep. This may be the only one I have of this one, signed by Neil for 100. And the size of this is 1117. Neil's ability to do like this is always amazing. Well, he draws them to look like them, only more like them than they actually look. Sometimes you know, it makes them prettier looking. Right. <laughs> he fixes the wrongs. <laughs> Okay, I have a couple of this left. This is on a really nice um, paper. It's a really nice paper. And this is Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad. It is signed by Neil. And if you remember when Neil did this, he said he really loved his boots. <laughs> yeah. So much so I was happy to find them there. Exactly. So this is one hundred dollars to buy Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad. So the signature by the nine eleven story he says his uncle was a firefighter in Cincinnati, Ohio. Got him a book from a near fire firefighter who was on duty surviving a tower collapse on nine eleven. Spoke at my college like 10 or 12 years mm. after the tragedy. Yeah. It was a big day, yeah. and that's for sure. Uh, Robert, yes, that is an original signature on the print. Yeah. Uh, BS Mac claim what? Harley? Mm. 
<laughs> they task me, Chris. I know. They I can tell. Thank God it's a Friday night. <laughs> All right, and Robert Martinez. Wait, do we only have the one? No, we have a couple of these. So okay. Robert Martinez. Yeah, I got him. Okay, so Robert, make sure to direct message us. You're welcome. Yes, Mac. I have your name, but I need the address and where I'm sending it and an email address um, to be able to. Uh, you know what? We've been doing this stuff and I haven't been doing bombs. I don't think Robert you have that many bombs. Like a COA. Okay, let's see. COA. It's no one to be a Mac. you want it with a COA? Yeah. Got you guys. Um, Jeff, no, we're not doing payment plans on the um, artist editions. editions. However, they don't come out until October. Right. So, so grab a piggy bank, put a couple of bucks each day in your piggy bank, and by the time they come out, you'll be ready. Yep. Ugh. I hate these. That's you how don't. I do things these days. Yeah. You can do your own payment plan. I'm sure we'll still have books available. So. Okay, this is for everybody who has bought. <laughs> okay. Intermittently, I'll just send out. Uh... Okay, next up I have a Conan type. Barbarous. This is a 13 by 19 print. Neil's pencils, because he drew this in a finished pencil, meaning it's kind of like inked, even though it's in pencil. It is signed by Neil. It is 13 by 19, and it is $100. Oh, I love that we're showing this and Dancing Queen by Abba is playing in the background. <laughs> It is a great, powerful coding. This, I'm very picky about with that. There's some coins I don't like with like this. And then there are other coins that I really like. This is one of the coins I like. <clears throat> I like me a little bit square coding with a good helmet. <laughs> this and gas is my coding. And a nose that's been broken a couple of times. Yeah. So $100 for Barbarous. I don't know why it's called Barbarous, but that's what it was me. I'm impressed that Conan still has all his deep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, we have a couple of these left. Oh, lucky. I figure since they're pushing the trailer. I would pull this out. BS Max says, that's all I'm after. Thanks, everyone, and special thanks to you. Thank you, BS Max. Thank you. We had a Mac attack today. We did have a Mac attack today. Anybody? Joker. $100. Colored by Zia. No, this is Dad. Really? This is yeah, Dad? Yeah, that's Dad. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. I know you did the little heads. I did the little heads. <laughs> but this, is, this is all Dad all day. I see. Very cool. And I really love what he did with it, too. Mm. It just made it, he, he made it messy, which I think suits the character really. I think his mark is for a little guy, which I think adds to the charm of it. And he is wearing the Neil Adams blue shirt. So, <laughs> okay, Tommy Brayden is claiming Joaquin Phoenix. Okay. Okay, Tommy. All right. 
some more. Do up some more. Give me a second. Okay. You take the time. Do what you need. Okay. Let's see. Dude. Dude. There's a lot of dooding going on back there. Dude. Okay, I'm ready for you. Okay, I'm going to do the Batman Robin coloring. Okay. Okay, this is a piece we found that is colored by Neil. The signature on it is a real signature by Neil. Because we even had a look at it and go, is that a Xerox? Is that a real? So that is not a Xerox. Yeah, when, when you look close at it, you'll actually see the Xerox's signature above that Neil. Right. So what Neil has done here is he has copied this drawing. So it is a copy and then Neil colored. So the originalness on this is purely the color work. This is a great lesson on Neil coloring. Because yes. even looking close at it, you, know, you see where he put his blues over their faces. That um, uh, Robin's chest is a little faded of the red to have because he put the blue over the red um, just to accentuate that it's nighttime. It is actually an incredibly beautiful piece. Yeah. I realize it's got original inking, but the, the original color is is skilled enough that it deserves a good look. Uh, you have things in your head tonight, Zay. Of course I do. You've been blowing those things straight at me. <laughs> I don't, there's not another target back here. It's just me now. So $800 for this great color. Thank you. Nice piece. Okay, next up. What else you got, Chris? Oh, I got Superman. Oh, <laughs> I like this one. Yeah, you know you like this one. I worked hard on this one. <laughs> okay, we have a Superman doing what Superman always does: change his clothes. This is eight and a half by eleven. This is pen and ink. Neat. Color on this is zero. This is 2,655. And I believe we have the pan scene. All that, all that background is marker. You can feel that daylight going down the building side. I love how this one turned out. Uh, Happy Terry's one. No, wait, were the shadows penciled in? No. Wow. That's all marker. Reference, baby. That's where reference will get you. This will get a certificate of authenticity to go with it. So nice, I'm going to show it thrice. <laughs> you go for it, Steve. <laughs> I'm this sorry, I'm proud of this one. This is going to the feels, you know? This is 2600 for Superman. Thank you, happy dad. Look, he's even at a coffee station. He went to breakfast with dad. <laughs> Clark can't have that. <laughs> he did. So gorgeous piece by Neil and Zia. Thank you, Andrea. 
Okay. 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 This is a hip shot that comes from that same licensing book for Batman Forever. This is Neil's pen and ink. Signed by Neil back there. Neil's dad Lee. did fancy signature on this one. It's quite like, he must have liked this drawing. I nailed it, Chris. Val Kilmer, the prettiest Batman. Yeah. Look, I think the most recent Batman, I, I liked the actor for Batman, and I didn't mind him as Bruce Wayne. I just think that it wasn't done right. <laughs> I think they should take the actor and try him again, just get, get a different script, get a different brain, whatever went wrong with that one. Whatever went just, wrong. Just, just wish all that stuff away. Just keep him and like, Rewrite and mm -hmm. read. Start over. Crumple, crumple, toss in the trash, but just keep. Mm -hmm. A lot of people like that. Really. I, I have to get through it. I, I didn't like it either, but that was me. I found it less exciting. It was so good. Yeah. I'd even take the musical ones over. So. <laughs> you mean Tim Burton's? <laughs> Those are the musical ones. And boy, I will say the Joker Lady Gaga looks like another musical. Well, Even though they say it's not. I don't know. I have a feeling that that could turn out to be really good. Because I did, I have seen her in other stuff, and she can act. Girl can act. No, I know that. that. So if they if they keep it sort of in the vein that the Joker it should be good. Well, we have to wait till October. Damn. So twelve hundred for the Val Kilmer. I don't think you'd ever say his last name right. What is it? Kilmer. Kilmer. And there's no there's no in there. Kilmer. I do it like a kiln. I know. <laughs> you don't know where you go with it. Okay, Batman Two Face Color. We took this down from the top wall. <laughs> I love this piece. This one is flipping gorgeous. This is 11 by 14, pen and ink. Neil, color by Zia, 2200. Amazing. Artwork to the beautiful face to the ugly face, which I love Neil's ugly face when he does. I mean, Neil, when he does two face, Neil's the handsome guy and Neil's the monster guy, guy. Yeah. right? And uh, the coloring on this with the green is just great. So, 2200 for this piece. Hold on, I gotta pull up my scan again. That face is Look at that. One of them. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> this is even better. How do I know? Look at that eyeball. Look at that, like, cauliflower ear. The lumpy chin. He's gorgeous. The thing of beauty to behold forever. Well, it could be yours for twenty two hundred. You need right. to go on QVC. <laughs> <laughs> and this too could be yours for the low price of twenty two hundred. So you. <laughs> Isn't this a book cover? Um, Neil did do this as a book cover. This is not that book cover. Neil did this 
disorder. So, oh, and he didn't get to do what he wanted. The last one was that was pulled out. So, like, when he first took the picture, it was just a handsome, curvy dent on both sides of his face. But then it would, it would have this flat flip over to, to show the monster side of his face. And, I mean, it was going to be gorgeous. Okay. I have night owl up now. Uh, you don't have night owl. So night owl is one of Neil's headshots <laughs> for five hundred dollars. It's be colored. Did I mean, stop your thing? Yeah. The end of the road for us. I really gotta reshow my covers at the very end, at least. Okay. Well, I'll try. That one I haven't come up with a price for yet, but we can show it. Okay. We'll go for the last five minutes of Zia show. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If somebody didn't buy that Superman boy. Okay, so Night Owl, get you guys which check. is from Watchmen. It's five hundred dollars. It's pen and ink Neil headshot signed by Neil. How does he have colored this up, dude? I'm telling you, this is this is like Christmas Eve family. I'm gonna say this for like ten years, and then I'm gonna go. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna home. take it home. I'm gonna get Zia to color I'm gonna myself, color it and then send someone will buy it. So then I can cry. <laughs> but this color base is yes. That's fine. It'll be mine. Okay, so I'm gonna go into some other stuff. I'm right here. I love this. So you know that Zia did Dad. Um, and it just was like sad that we only had one Dad. <laughs> so <laughs> Zia was like, "Oh, wait a minute." We could do this, so you can tell them what you're doing. Um, okay, so basically, what I'm doing with this is being as they're doing so many uh, facsimiles of dad's work lately, and they're actually putting sketch covers on these facsimiles. What I'm going to do with one each of each facsimile that comes out with a sketch cover is I'm going to do dad drawing that cover. On the sketch cover. So this is the Green Lantern 87, and you see Dad is drawing Green Lantern 87 on there. This is the only 87 cover that I'm going to have Dad drawing the 87 cover on. And I will be doing that with each of Dad's books. But it will be the only one. And if you have ever gone to a Comic Con and you've approached Dad from kind of the side, Mm -hmm. This is exactly what you look like <laughs> at the comic. Only oh, yes, you would say, Chris, can you get me a coffee? Chris, <laughs> can you get me a donut? Can you get me some goodies? Is there any food in there? <laughs> now, being as I'm doing these only once, I have not yet decided what the price is going to be on them. And then um, you want to call it the second Right. But that doesn't mean you get ordered dead drawing. Something else. Um, <laughs> you can order that. dad. You can order that needs a Neil Adams dad. You're right. <laughs> anybody who needs dad, I can draw you a dad. But for for each of the sketch covers, for him to draw that cover on that sketch cover will only happen once for Jackson mm -hmm. And the best part is he's in his little safari jacket that he wears when he gets to air conditioning at the conventions. Yep. Because he's he is a delicate little flower. <laughs> he is a delicate. There's there's like a range of maybe like ten degrees where he's actually happy. Right. It, and then it can't be too much of a breeze. Right. Yeah. It has his blue shirt, which it'll be a blue shirt, and Zia will do a tie because Dad always wore a tie. <laughs> okay, Tommy, I will give you a heads up when I decide to price them. He wants to explain it when I decide what the price is. Okay. It's like, whatever it is. <laughs> okay. So we have that. 
But in that same vein, well, actually, yeah, yeah I may have to order. I may order myself a dad. I may need a dad. I will totally throw you a dad. I now have to think of like what cover do I want. Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna, I'm ordering a dad. So we'll you should down for you a should dad. you should do a house the house of mysteries that we wanted to do on the covers but didn't. Uh, see, I don't know if I want something like that. Would you want to do like? Bucky, what do you want to do? Do I want to do, do I want to do crazy man coming out of the grave? Okay, <laughs> fucking Baldwin. <laughs> okay, here is another cover that Zia did in her um, voodoo style. Voodoo style. Um, I can't remember the issue number that this is based on, but it was. It was in the glass. Cover. That's true. Oh, Christmas. I kind of like that. I have not done a Galactus yet, so that could be fun. Um, so this one is uh, <laughs> fully colored. Everything is by hand, so that lettering on the book and the poison pin puzzle at the bottom, that's all by hand. Um, this is $350. These can be CGC. My CGCs have been coming back with at least nine points. I and will we, say they look sweet when they're CPC, actually. Right, and we can even we can even get the uh, the dad head label. Yes, I think it's the dad head label. So you can get a dad, your own personal dad, dad with a dad head label. With a dad head label. See, now I have to do it. I think they're right. Maybe I'll order. Oh, and you know what? Here, here's the perfectly. How good are you guys at this? Why did Neil Adams keep all his cash in at the table? It was always a little Hello Kitty <laughs> dumb, <laughs> dumb box that we carry from convention to convention. Right. The bottle's going to end up being a Diet Coke, right? Of course, right. But there was always a Hello Kitty thing. If you have yeah. any photos that you ever took of Neil at a convention where you got the table that he sat at, you will notice over to the side there's always a Hello Kitty box because we always felt. No one would ever look at the Hello Kitty box. <laughs> so I love that you have the Hello Kitty box. And of course, there's a Diet Coke, because what else would there be? Except that when he was stuck at a convention that had Pepsi. Oh, that, yeah. that would he go on for 10 happen. hours. So. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, <laughs> these are very cool. So I will put this one back. Uh, well, Tommy Braden is cleaning the voodoo back in and back girl. All right. Thank you, Tommy. Are you going to want that CQC? And if you do want it CGC, let me know if you want the dad head label. Thank you, Tommy. Thanks, probably since I CGC the others. Okay. You got it. Okay, I'm gonna put this all back together again. Now this is not based on a cover. This is actually based on a panel when uh, John Stewart first gets his costume. We have to get the panel. You entertain the crew. I'll I'll make a copy. I'm entertaining. <laughs> So this is, the, is, I want to thank you guys for coming up with the flag. I think I'm going to go for that. Um, but yeah, so this is where John Stewart gets his custom. I know this panel. So I wonder if this will be inside of the um, artist edition or not. So like I said, I'm entertaining. Make sure if you're interested in getting the gallery books and you want to get one of the covers that we have for
versus if you want to get the Ra's al Ghul cover or you want to get the Green Lantern Green Arrow cover, that you can go into the comic world and get it from your comic store. Or I believe Penguin Random House is also carrying it. Prime News or his Nobles right there. I only have my dad's version. <laughs> this is how I, I do my layouts for my booty dolls. Just to have an idea. But basically, it's. Imagine Dad did that properly without my distortions for my booty dolls. But uh, that was a panel in the book that introduces Jon Stewart when Jon Stewart first gets his costume. So next time we show this, we'll have this yeah. panel. I'll make, <laughs> I made a note to make oh, it happen. So next Wednesday, we will be on with that. Did we announce the price on the books yet? Yes, we did announce the price. Everything is at the neiladamsstore.com. They are $2.50 a piece. And then there's a bundle price if you'd like to get both of them. And I don't remember what the bundle price was. Okay, Tommy Braden is claiming uh, Green Lantern. John Stewart. Green Lantern, yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Tommy. <laughs> But if you go, if you, if you go to the um, neiladamsstore.com, you can order your book there if you would like. Okay, I'm going to put this on this one. Yeah, Tommy, that's gone off to um, the PGC. If I haven't gotten it back, I will check my shipping records. Happy Paris says he likes your rock. I like your rock. <laughs> Cute. Thank you. Okay. So there's the mini talents. Yeah. Oh, that's only a couple of them. <laughs> there's all she, sorts of things I can She do. is entertaining to work with. <laughs> so, so like I said, this week I did not ship out. So there are many of you who have not gotten their prints yet. I did not ship out anything because the week has been a very wet week. Yeah. And um, I did not want stuff getting blown away and tornadoes, hurricanes, and wetness out there. Next week looks like a much better week, a much drier week, a lot of sunshine, finally. So everything is going to be leaving here on Monday. Um, I'm also going to try and group Wednesday and Friday shows because people buy Wednesday and Friday so we can group it all together. It takes down some of the cost of all the shipping that's been going on. And then we'll just ship on Mondays and get everything out of here. <laughs> that's okay, Andrea. Not a problem at all. So, And you can always like direct message if you guys have any questions or you need more understanding of the gallery books. I'm always around on the weekends to answer most everybody. So if there is anything you saw in the show and you're thinking about it, you can either bring it up now, or if you find yourself bringing it up over the weekend, you can definitely direct message us. Um, and I can always pull stuff to the side if you're interested, and we can take care of it next week. But I will make everybody know that we sold this over the weekend. So else leaves. Um, a lot of stuff does disappear over the weekend. There's stuff that I'm pressuring people, but more and more people are direct messaging these days. And are going out the door. I want to say thank you to everybody who wrote really nice things when I posted up. Um, Dad, Dad is a different artist. He doesn't, he doesn't sit at a drawing table. He sits at a giant conference table and he has his chaotic workspace, his chaotic workspace which worked for him everywhere he went. He lots of markers and only had half of the markers in them and the rest of them were on the table. Do you have any more of the two Star Wars? Yes, Jim Hackett, I do. <laughs> would you like them? That would be the Kylo Ren and the Star Wars painting. Kylo Ren and Star Wars. Would you like them, Jim? Because I have yet to send yours out. I can get them in there hopefully on Monday. And... Uh, that I may have a whole different package on Tuesday. 
so I can add it in because all your prints are still sitting here in a box ready to be closed up. Because I put all your stuff together right before the show. This has been a very busy little bee today. Yeah. So, Jim, just tell me what you want to do and we'll add you in. <clears throat> so if there is anything like what Jim Hackett just did, where maybe you even watched the show from Wednesday night, we had a lot of new prints on Wednesday night. I did not show them all tonight. Yes. Uh, yes, Matt. Um, uh, I think we answered this earlier, but maybe you uh, didn't get it. Um, we only have the one Bucky print, but Chris has been considering doing more Bucky stuff in the future. So just stay tuned with us. And when we have something, you'll be one of the right. first to see it. Exactly. Okay. I think Z and I are going to stay. No, we're not going to stay. Well, I was waiting for an answer for Jim Hackett. Yeah, Kylo, yes, Happy Towers was correct. Kylo was on the Wednesday show, yes. There were two Star Wars painting ones. Well, there was one painting, one drawing. One drawing is a cover that Neil did for Marvel. The other one was a painting that he was doing for the Star Wars comic. But then, like I said, something went down between Marvel and Star Wars, and it never got bought. So that's the story of that one. It never got published. So, anyway, I, like I said, I wanted to say thank you to everyone who wrote really nice things about dad and being at conventions with dad. It's always nice to know that everybody out there still loves him and hasn't forgotten him. Um, and we're very proud that, that Scott has pushed the gallery book to happen. And, uh, and he has worked very hard for great book and he was dealt with me being a bitch about it and, uh, and he was never mean to me or anything just amazing <laughs> and he even convinced me to uh unframe the first right. story exactly which i didn't think anyone could get yeah or i unframe anything for him. <laughs> well my i mean mine was framed like frame frame like the paper matching all that stuff. yep so anyway, I'm going to say good night. Zia is going to say good night. Everybody be safe. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for buying from us. And, you know, we love you guys as much as you love me. All. So everybody have a great weekend and we will see you Wednesday night. And a quick answer to BS Mac. BS Mac was asking what was Neil's favorite character he did? The one that he got paid the most for. It's exactly and what he would tell you. I think in the end he was loving his Bigfoots and Dogman. Yeah. <laughs> I would agree. I would say it's whatever his last thing was. I know he was very proud of Batman Odyssey. Um, and that was a very important piece to him. I think it tied up a lot of ends that he had hanging out there. He was happy to get back to characters that he had done in a long time. And it was his Odyssey. It was his Odyssey with Characters that he loved and built his career on. So, okay, so now we are going to say goodnight. Good night, guys. Good we'll night, everybody. Bye, bye bye. Be safe.